So hello everyone, I hope you are all doing well. And as you can see, I'm inside a shopping center. So just have a look, and I'm, it's lunch time. I'm trying to look for uh, for a place to to eat, and uh, it's not easy. It's not easy in the in the big cities, in the big Chinese cities. Look at this, uh, many people waiting. In the big Chinese cities, it's never easy to find a place to eat. Why is that? Because um, in China, if you go to the restaurant, you need to go with other people and you can share the dish. And it's not easy to have individual dish. If you are looking for individual dish, you see there are always several people and they will share. They will order a few dish and share it. Then of, of course, you have a few places like this one. They will offer individual dish, but it's mainly noodles, you know, noodles. Maybe this one is rice fried rice so maybe I could go there and order fried rice but as you know since I need to take care of the food that I eat because I, my digestion is not good and I should also avoid the place where you have spicy food and here is central China and south China most of the food is spicy and no matter that you ask them uh, please don't uh, uh, don't put any spicy foods they will not uh, they will just say yeah yeah chef yeah, for sure there won't be any spicy food but in the end it still it still will be spicy that's why um, also in the big cities when they destroyed everything uh, the only few places that are left where you can uh, eat they are these shopping malls and when you go there you will pay for the design you will pay for the rent and you will not only pay for the food you will pay for all the rest you know the round uh, you see uh, here you go there there's a nice design but you pay for the design you know and you don't pay for the food you don't pay for what you eat you pay for where you sit you pay uh, for the air conditioning you pay for all this uh, so the price is kind of expensive for what it is here. It's maybe it's okay. Uh, not sure. I think I might go there and order this dish with the rice and the meat. It's probably uh, it looks like uh, South China chicken. But this one is spicy, you know. This one is spicy. Uh, you see, it's spicy. There is the small spicy thing, so so I cannot take it. So here I cannot eat. You know? And that's how it is. So. When you go around, you look most of these restaurants, either they are overpriced for what it is, like here, this kind of Western thing, either uh, they are spicy, either it's not individual dish. Here they are one of the few places that offer individual, individual dish, but even then, and it's not that expensive, but it's crowded, so you have no place to sit. So in the end, uh, sometimes the best option is uh, simply to go to uh, either to order from the internet but for this you will need to have uh, skills and know how to use the Chinese apps or either you will have to um, uh, to find to live in the older district or or maybe go or either if you are like this in a in a modern district there will be limited choice so you have to cook by yourself or uh, order the food uh, online and you have why order online because when you order online you have some small places inside apartment building i told you uh, they cut their costs because they just prepare the food to get delivered and they cook inside the apartment building and then the uh, the price is not so high uh, but now i don't know how to use these apps i don't know this place i am on my own i don't know how to read chinese so i need to go here i need to go to the main uh, shopping mall and there is nothing you know so you see there is the big dish that i'm not going to eat here uh so i might end up in mcdonald's or kfc you know because at least i know uh for sure uh, the price and the food offer and uh, that's it you know and since i'm here uh going around with you I think I will just go down. I can show you the place here. You see, this is the how it looks like. Top floor looks very nice. Usually, when you go to this kind of place, it's better to check the underground. Sometimes they will have the fourth court, the top floor, or the ground floor, because over there usually the price is not so high. Uh, the rent is lower, and then you can benefit from uh, from a cheaper offer. Also, you need to look at which shopping mall. Where do, which shopping mall do you go? You see, they develop these kind of uh, things outside where they have cheaper rent and they can sell a uh, smaller product. And here, normally, this floor should be only for food. And the fact that they will have uh, some games and some uh, some other products, it's not a good sign. It means the, the rent is overpriced and they cannot get enough customers. So they have to divide the, the floor in two. One side, they will do the the um, the food and the other the other part since they were not able to get any people to come here then they just uh, did these other these other uh, other shops that have nothing to do with food normally it should be only food and here you see the, the top floor is also not food uh, it's the cinema 
uh, and then there's something I don't know why they are there. It's kind of weird. Uh, you have some coffee, coffee here. I like this kind of place because it's, it's there are less people, less crowds, so you can relax a little bit. But here they don't have any food. It's like desert, and that's how it is. So I just wanted to show you around and tell you about share this knowledge with you. You see the ice cream a few days, a few years ago, many years ago, when I first came to China, I was thinking I'm going to study uh, Italian uh, gelatino, you know, Italian gelato in in Italy, and I will come back by investing all the material because anybody can use do it and do some specific ice cream and sorbet. Um, using the local material and the local fruits and maybe I will make with the tea, green tea, local tea, uh, grey tea, dark tea maybe with the chodofu, some s local speciality and I will make the ice cream and people will already come and then I will have of course some uh, uh, many flavors and I was thinking this could be a good idea uh, but now uh, that I came back to China, I've seen a few uh, places that went bankrupt, that did ice cream and went bankrupt. So uh, now I'm not sure why, didn't, maybe they didn't have the right offer. But I think um, the answer is simply that uh, uh, it is not suitable for uh, Chinese people taste. They don't really like the ice cream. Uh, now I have some other idea that I had uh, recently. I was thinking you could make a yogurt place. Yogurt place would work because it's very fashion now in China. I look at kids club here. The yogurt is uh, something Chinese people really want to... Um, the thing is healthy, the thing is good for kids. And the thing is when you do the yogurt, you can do it quite easily by yourself. And then uh, above it, uh, you can have different flavor, different cream, different toppings, and you just need to add it. Uh, dried fruit, uh, uh, many things you can add like this. I will just go down and uh, I will leave you for now. And I will discuss with you about something else in another video. Take care and thank you again for following the channel. Uh, I love you all. Take care, everyone.